Affirmations have been very popular for quite some time now and uh, I've been uh, coming across many articles and many videos about it for years already and people swear by it that it changed their lives and before I tell you my view on it I will first briefly explain what affirmations are in case you have no idea. Uh, affirmations are positive statements that people say repeatedly or write on a piece of paper to change their thoughts and, and beliefs. The idea behind it is that they believe that if they regularly repeat some positive phrases, they can help themselves uh, to break through negative thought patterns and develop a more positive mindset. Uh, examples of uh, affirmations are, I am worthy enough, I am good enough, I am uh, capable enough, I deserve love and happiness, and I am successful in everything I do. But... What I'm going to say now, please don't believe what I say. Just try to investigate and find out for yourself whether it is true or not. Because when you start conducting self-examination, you soon discover that this is just a masterful trick of the ego and where the gurus have told you another beautiful story. Because you're rejecting yourself harshly because of the affirmations that you think will help you. Let me start from the beginning. What is the source of why you started using affirmations in the first place? There's a reason you started this. It could be anything, but a direction toward the source seems to me that there is something in your life that you feel that should be different. Apparently, you don't think you are worthy enough. Apparently, you don't think you are good enough. Apparently, you don't think that you are capable enough. Apparently, you feel that you don't have enough love and happiness in your life. Apparently, you don't think you are successful enough. If it were good the way it was, you wouldn't have had to affirm all of this, right? So what's the exact source of all this? Of course, it's the ego. It identifies itself with those thoughts. Dear people, there is a world of difference between I am not worthy enough and I experience a feeling of not being valued enough. You are not your thoughts or feelings. Thoughts are just thoughts and feelings are just feelings. And by seeing through the ego, you can make this distinction. Don't get me wrong, because... I'm not saying eh, you should stop using affirmations. Eh? I won't tell you what to do. If you feel good about it, it is, of course, completely okay to <laughs> keep doing those affirmations. I'm just giving you an insight, eh, a perspective, so you can investigate this yourself. And that investigation is the most important and also the most difficult. Because there is nothing more confrontational than conducting Proper self-examination. Ah, coffee. Because when you do affirmations, you're not really investigating anything. You disagree with your current self-image or situation. And you want to forcefully change your thought pattern by chanting sentences until you truly believe them yourself. If I think of this, it is to me equivalent to lying to yourself until you believe your own lies. So you reject your current self-image because it is not good enough. While your self-image is only a psychological construction of the ego. Instead of trying to force change, why not do some self-examination into where those feelings actually come from? And also don't get me wrong with my uh, use of forcing, because you voluntarily say or write those affirmations of course, but you do force a different possible thought pattern through your neural pathways. You will undoubtedly face yourself many times this way. Surely you didn't think you would never again experience fear or stress or greed or jealousy or anything else. Thanks to your affirmations, did you? Because you should. Yeah, you should. You shouldn't do anything. But acknowledge your feelings without judgment. Because feelings are allowed. We just have them. Like we have thoughts. They just come and go like clouds. And if you observe a cloud, then you are not the cloud, right? You merely observe a cloud appearing in your awareness. And when you see that cloud, try practicing not to find anything about the cloud. 
try not to judge the cloud regardless its shape size or how light or how dark it is you know acknowledge your feelings in that way and don't judge them just say to yourself it's okay it's fine there's nothing wrong with you just let the feeling be there and it will dissolve back into the awareness when you don't identify with it but just observe it everything changes people then you are no longer lonely you experience feelings of loneliness then you are not unworthy then you experience feelings of undervaluation then you are not a useless person then you just experience feelings of uselessness but don't misunderstand this either because this doesn't mean that you have to be passive or do nothing on the contrary by observing and acknowledging your feelings you give yourself the opportunity to take conscious action you can then make thoughtful decisions instead of acting reactively from an emotional place without rejecting or judging yourself so i hope this was valuable <laughs> if so please like the video subscribe to the channel and good luck with that self examination <laughs>